Hey everyone, this is the LEGO Creator Deep Sea Creatures 3-in-1 set. There are instructions inside the box for three different official builds, and I will show you all three of those builds in this video here. Uh, you can only build one of them at a time with the parts from one single set, and I'll also let you know about a fourth official build for which instructions are not included in the box. First off though, let's check out this angler fish. I have always been interested in angler fish. I don't know why they are in real life very scary looking things, very odd looking things, but I think they're they're cool and yeah, just just interesting. And Lego has made one here that is quite scary. It's actually chasing down its prey here, which is a simple fish. So this is just a uh, a small build of this whole thing, the two together is is a small option that leaves a lot of parts behind i'll actually show you the leftover pieces but you got the funny eyes there you can rotate those around however you want but let's focus mostly on the main build you know they did a pretty good job here now a very good job of capturing the shape and the weirdness of of an angler and you can also bring this upper bit up if you want to make it look weirder you can move the tail around because that's on a ball joint you can move these fins as well you can move the lure this is the part that i like the least is is the lure just because it looks so unfinished just because of the pieces that were used you know you don't want to make that too uh, too thick you know so if they put more parts on top of that then it would have looked awkward as well so there's, there's not much that you can do there but again this is not a main model from you know from the set so uh, i think that for basically a side build a side option an alternate build i think this looks really good i like what they did for the eyes there and i like the mouth with two rows of teeth that's something that you don't very frequently see from lego and look at that you can close up the mouth and the teeth come together really really close they they practically interleave it's really nice you can open that way up. Let's see if I can actually put this in there. Put its prey in there. It doesn't go in very far, but I can at least like grab the tail like that. Yeah. Oh, poor thing. Poor thing. Well, I mean, angler's got to eat. But I like this. Yeah, I think this is really well done. <laughs> My favorite thing is definitely, definitely the mouth with the teeth and just how it all lines up. And check this out. If you use a black light or even an LED that is very blue or in the purple range, you can get not only the eyes, but the lure to glow, which makes it extra creepy and uh, maybe a little bit realistic. Now, when you build the angler with prey, you're left with a lot of extra pieces. So I'm sure there's something you could do with these that would be interesting. Another official build option is this squid. I like squid deep fried especially you know sweet and sour sauce makes them pretty good uh living squid i don't know i don't understand them they're they're weird things they're definitely very intriguing and quite varied well lego's model of one here is pretty cool that's for sure got the articulation a little bit in the body back here all of these arms can articulate around or tentacles can move around quite a bit you can open these up quite aggressively as it's going for prey and you see it's got teeth in there so they actually used the, the same tooth pieces which have three each i don't think they usually have that many teeth it's like a, more like a beak that's just two parts but i mean it's more than a good enough substitution given that again this is not the main model here i think this is done pretty well got a suggestion of of a major sucker here that's that's round and then the other ones are just smaller and not you know not as correct in their their shape and everything but i'm sure there's some variation out there in how these things are designed at first i was like what is this supposed to be down here then i realized it's the jet you know they use water jet propulsion so that's what this is supposed to represent but here they actually placed one on either side uh yeah i don't i don't think they have two maybe there are some that have two if there are any cephalopod experts out there let me know if there are any squid with two jets, but uh, I, I appreciate the, the inclusion of something, at least, to suggest their method of propulsion. And overall, this is actually a pretty cool build. Uh, it goes together nicely, and yeah, I think it looks 
very respectable on display and would look really good in an underwater display in general you know maybe even just set up a small scene with this i think it's well done this time around less spare pieces but still plenty enough to do something with lots of red pieces and some tan maybe you can make like a a little table hey yeah make a table to serve up your squid you just need some sweet and sour sauce or something i mean you could use this as the basin for your deep fryer too and finally we get to the main build the great white shark which uses all of the officially included pieces and you also get two side builds to go with this this is definitely the most complete and in my opinion coolest looking and also coolest posing thing let's look at the little side builds first real quick the crab is kind of comic relief but it's cool in its own way i think that it looks like it has a lot of personality I like these claws they're simple but they look good they look proper and i appreciate the inclusion of the ball joints to attach these two legs i guess they are so you can bring the oops i just pulled the whole thing apart you can bring these up claws way up in the air you can just imagine that it's doing a little dance or something you can have them down closer to the ground like this you can spread them out like so of course you can rotate those those eyes around no eye stalks here and then you just have these legs back here the little ones which can be angled in different ways so you get it to actually stand up like this and you just imagine that it's just scurrying around <laughs> the way that they do and this thing that sticks down in the front ensures that it'll always be angled up a little bit if you just push it straight down onto the ground and then here's just a little bit of sea floor with a single foliage piece and a bunch of treasure that's cool. Looks like treasure-like items. Yeah, I don't know what these are supposed to represent, but they're they're fancy and the parts were available. So they're included as treasure and that's that. The shark, I think, looks fantastic. You build it in segments and at first during the build, it's, it's pretty normal looking. You know, it's just Lego stuff that comes together and you're like, oh yeah, this is going to end up being a, a fish like thing but it's really when you add the last pieces that that form the the final shaping around the head when you're creating this this first segment that's when it really comes together and really makes sense and i think it's anatomically very good one of the better ones probably that lego has ever officially done uh, with its shaping and then you create this segment here and then you create this segment and at the end you do the tail, which is a small number of pieces. You just have a small number left over at the end of the build. But that really pulls it all together. And with these individual segments, you can pose this in different ways. So you can bend it to one side. You can have it doing a little bit of an, an S-curve sort of movement. And they have double joints uh, at each of those segments. So it's not able to angle up and down. Uh, I don't mind that. I think it's actually a good thing. You can see that... There's actually, uh, you know, the red and, and the pink on the inside of it for the build. So it's almost like you're seeing inside of the animal itself. And then you can change the angles of the fins. These can be angled all sorts of different ways because, again, they're on ball joints. And the tail is also on a ball joint. So you can angle it over to one side like so and also bring it up and down a bit. But, of course, once again, like with the angler, the most important thing is the mouth. The most intimidating thing is the mouth, and that opens up. And there's your pink. So you have the, the inside of the mouth and the tongue area. Do they even have tongues? I don't think they have tongues. But the tongue area. <laughs> what, what would be a tongue if it was a mammal? Is uh, Maybe they do have tongues. I don't know. I just don't know. But, uh, you know, it's all pink, which, you know, just brings it to life a little bit more. Makes it a little bit more creepy as well. Generally, look, looking inside the inside of the mouths of marine animals is very creepy. <laughs> but you got all the rows of, of teeth. Well, I mean, it's a single row technically, but oh, they they're built in the different directions. To it almost looks rounded, just with the the shaping of those parts there. And the way the eyes are done is great too. That's a Technic pin there, just a regular Technic pin with a lightsaber blade going through it. And then they have a couple of the Technic spacers, the gray spacers over top of that. Let me see if I can just pop this off real quickly to let you see just a little bit better exactly what's going on there. 
It's really, really good. I don't think I've seen Lego use that technique before. Personally, I mean, maybe they've done it. I just haven't seen it. But again, that uses the the trans neon greenish yellow or yellowish green color. So that will glow if you use black light. And just the shaping of the head is the best thing in this, this entire set to me. They, they got that point. They've got that shape. It's so good. I only wish that the, the mouth could close up a little bit more. That would be ideal. And also, if it was set to have a little bit of up and down articulation, you can always just pull that joint out like I just did if you need to have it you know, angling up or angling down. You just have to disconnect it, and uh, yeah, that works well enough. But yeah, if only the mouth could close up all the way, it would be pretty dang perfect. As for leftover parts from the main build, it's just these. That is it. Perfect. They are true spares. So like I said, in the box you get instructions for all three of these main models, but there is one additional official model for which instructions are only available online. I recommend uh, that you just search for it. Just search for LEGO 31088 instructions and it'll get you to a page because navigating to it might take a minute. It's not as, as direct as it seems, but you get to build up a sperm whale. That's a pretty good looking one there. You know, it uses a lot of the pieces from mostly the, the shark and it's just a, you know, the same width, about the same height as well. Just a little bit shorter. Definitely will leave some parts behind, but pretty good shaping. And here you have just a small squid to go with that. That's clever using the Mixel's ball pieces to represent the eyes there. Good use of some of the extra pieces, but like I said, instructions for this are only online. I could imagine this set selling for 20 bucks. You know, it's 230 pieces. That would be more than reasonable on a price to part ratio basis, but on a price to volume of stuff basis, I would, I would ask for it to be just a little bit cheaper. Just just a little bit, like, like 18 bucks. 18, I'd, I would be happy with it. As it turns out, they sell this for 15 bucks. What? Well, that's a fantastic deal. If you see the box and you're wondering, I mean, it looks like a pretty big box for a $15 set and you're wondering about the scale. Well, the shark is actually a little bit larger than it appears on the box. I mean, yeah, it's foreshortened and everything, but you know, the, the shark build is a large portion of the size of this pretty decent size box. So price to volume of stuff here is excellent. Price to part ratio is phenomenal. It's a good set. All three of these official builds are really nice, and the fourth one looks pretty cool as well. But I, I think that these are the better ones. Of course, always the main one is the best, but this is one of those cases where all of them, all of the official options are good. And it's a good parts pack as well. Uh, at the very least, you know, if you build one of these smaller things, you, <laughs> you're left with it's still a, a healthy pack of, or healthy you know, handful of extra pieces you can use for other stuff. Or if you just want to do something custom, I think it's a good parts pack, just generally speaking. So this is a win, 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 and win. Uh, one win for the price. Everything about it is good. Really happy with this one. Oh yeah. Also, it pairs very well with the underwater robot set because, you know, same kind of theme and the the ray that you build for the the main one there also has the same color scheme it's okay there's one more win then i recorded the build process for all three of the physical models that i showed you and you can find those in two forms one in the real-time form which is just for relaxing putting on in the background and listening to the pure clicking sounds with no music or anything and if you don't have that kind of time to watch the whole thing you just want to see the build process in one sitting then check out the speed build or time lapse version over on my jang builds it channel Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed all this and I'll talk to you again soon.